Welcome back, everyone, to More Than Analyze Done. Our main your host, Dominic, and we are back with a match between Rar and Drone on Onyx College, which apparently is a really good match. It's being told that, as people in Twitch chat are saying, this is a really good close match between Rar and Drone. Go cast it. I was like, okay, sure. I'll, I'll give it a shot, see what happens. It's Drone going for the Klogibot factory, because, of course, Rar going for the gunship plant, which is actually kind of unusual, but then Rar is an unusual player, so I'm not surprised. Also, Onyx Cauldron is a bit of a map with... So Onyx Cauldron as a map is actually quite defensible. Most of this area here going into the main base is actually not bot-pathable. <clears throat> like, this stuff is bot-pathable, but this hill is not bot-pathable, and the water is kind of bot-pathable, but essentially you can see anything coming. In particular, you only have to worry about this when it comes to bot-pathability. There's, I think, some small... There are, like, a few small paths that a, a cloak bot, a small cloak bot could theoretically take through these hills, but they're hard to actually get through. So for the most part, you just have to defend this corner, and it's fine. And that's exactly what's being done here. Blast Wings are also coming up for Ran for Rar. I think Rar's going to be going for that standard Blast Wing rush, but I... Th oh, does Drone see it? Does Drone see it? Oh, no, just barely. Oh, we'll see the second one, though. Definitely we'll see the second one. So Drone, fully aware this is being built up. We should see some... Are, are we going to see some defenders? Or pickets, rather? Nope. Drone has no concerns. Not even building emergency pickets, just going with Lotus and deciding, you know what, whatever, the Blast Wings won't do much. Okay, that's that's pretty gutsy, but it might work. On the other hand, though, Rar is building up st static defenses all over just to make sure the Glaze cannot get in and stop them. Because we are going to see Hercules come in here. This is going to be a Calm Nap game! Or at least a Calm Transport game. I think it actually might be a Calm Transport game, because I don't see any gnats in the build queue. Normally for Calm, like, for grabbing an opponent's unit, it needs to be either, like, some particular weight category, I think, or it needs to be stunned. Commanders need to be stunned. That's the important thing. And that is going to give an opening, especially with these Blast Wings coming in here, destroying some of Drone's economy in the back lines. And Drone, that means they are basically on par with Rar now. Once the Metal Extractors do burn up completely. But they will in a second. Now, of course, Drone is going for the Gremlins. Good plan on their part, I do agree. Because they have to deal with that, that there's gunships coming in here. But yeah, if Rar doesn't go for Nats, that will mean that they're basically trying to pull their commander into their opponent's base. And that'll be risky, but it could work. On the other hand, if they're going for, for anything else, Drone, well, they Drone's set up for that. They got the pickets going just to be sure their commander can easily grab, and their commander's underwater. So, hey, those are options. Those are options that can work. There are a little bit unusual options, but, you know, they are options that do work, in theory. And it's just a matter of whether or not they're actually going to work in practice, because this is still going to be a bit tricky. I mean, Rar is going with the transport. When you have a transport in this game... It's like, it's a super expensive unit, actually. 750 for the ability to transport one of any unit in the game. So I think it's going to be used to transport Rar's commanders, because Rar always goes to the commander base strategies. Drop it into Drone's base, maybe get rid of their factory, maybe get rid of some of the other stuff. And I think Drone is thinking it's going to be used for a comm nap, considering the way they're moving their commander around near defenses, and getting a lot of gremlins around their commander, just to make sure that if, the, if this is meant to grab their commander and smash it against the rocks, destroying it, it won't be able to do that effectively. But Rar being Rar, again, could go either way. Still, though, Drone is clearly very worried about this. Like, all these... How many Drones do they have? Do they only have four? Okay, well, at any rate, they have that, plus the pickets, plus the... I mean, the commander itself hasn't really done much, but it's basically not expanding beyond where it is right now. It's being super careful just because it doesn't want to risk losing... Like, they don't want to risk losing it to a commander grab. But there's no Nats. This is exactly it. Rar is indeed going to pick up their commander and use that to get their commander in, smash up the base from behind with a giant, essentially, Strider. Great plan on them. Rar, however, is risking it a little bit. They don't have any constructors at home to build up. This is all or nothing. I I mean, there are wasps coming in now. They are meant to be expanding along the northern side of the map according to the rally point, but it's a question of whether or not the commander can get in, and I... I mean, this is this is it. I mean, Rar coming in here with the wasps doesn't even have any caretakers in the main base, so they will start accessing reasonably soon. But, hey, if they get in and deal the damage needed to destroy pretty much all of Drone's production, Drone won't really have anything. That's the entire point of this. This entire strategy is built around get the commander here and wipe it out. And the thing is, because Drone has been building so many gremlins, there is nothing on the ground to stop this. Rar's commander can come in here and wipe out everything. Two metal tractors down. The factory's got nothing. A, a Lotus! Why not? Just build a Lotus. Get that for additional firepower. Additional additional beam laser firepower onto the factory. The, Ro the Ronin coming in here, but honestly, too little too late. Like, the Lotus... Lotus should be able to finish that off, no problem. Uh, the factory is done. The factory's done! This is this is a calm drop that's actually working. Five minutes in, Rar gets in one of 
I'd say the more classic cheeses, but one I have not seen in years. And Rar pulling it off against Drone of all people. Like, Drone thought, oh, it's Comnab, it's Comnab, it's Comnab. Because it's always Comnab. That's so often gone for. Because if you go for the Comnab, you smash your opponent's command, you're destroying a bunch of their economy, you destroy their storage, you wipe out their forward build power, and there's not much they can do about it. Because once they get stunned out, the commander gets to, just gets grabbed by the transport, and the transport can throw it against a wall. And then gravity does gravity and impact damage does the rest. But when you're dealing with Com Drop, and everyone expects a Com Nab, all these defenses coming up, all the anti air units, all the pickets, which the commander has no trouble dealing with, and now Rar is essentially able to have two bases to their name while setting up the wasps over the north and just building up metal extractors if need be, just in case. While also reclaiming a bunch. The only thing that Rar doesn't have in their base is caretakers, and the wasps are coming in to try to essentially deal with that to assist build just in case any more power needs to be set. But Rar with the caretaker, man, this is, bu this is gutsy. And then Drone. Drone does have a caretaker coming up. They should be able to build up an additional factory of their own, and they do have a reasonably strong economy. They are still ahead of RAR. It's just a matter of spending 800 metal building another factory is going to be a problem. That's still going to be about 40 seconds coming in from the caretaker plus their commander. It's it's doable. They are going for it, going for the amphib factory. But the question is, can they last 40 seconds? Like, is RAR going to give them 40 seconds to build this factory? Assuming that they do get assistance from the from the caretaker, of course, and the emergency stores, just in case the commander dies. But yeah, it looks like this factory not even being assisted. Drone's commander is the more the greater focus of the caretaker. So, this is so much time for RAR. They got almost a, a full minute available for them to expand, for them to set the commander up. I mean, they're essentially building inside of both their main base and Drone's main base, just because of that comm drop. That was amazing! I just want to see if RAR can continue pulling off the aggression, because honestly, I don't see the strategy working if RAR starts to try to play the macro game. I, I get what they're trying to do, break Drone's production, force them to spend 800 metal on another factory, get rid of their main metal and main defensible position. I get that, but at the same time, that factory's coming back up. There's going to be buoys coming out of there, and or Grizzly actually coming out of there. Ooh, super risky. I don't think Drone can build it up in time. Even with 30, me 30 metal coming in here, there just isn't the build, or the build power is here, but it's just not enough. Drone going for another commander fight, and their commander actually is pretty well upgraded. Recon Commander, however, versus a Strike Commander, or, well, a Solid Commander. Actually, a Strike Commander. And a Strike Commander will have the advantage as a result, but the thing is, Drone is not really worried about that too much, because at this point, it's the st stack defense is taking the damage, not their commander. But still, Drone's commander forced back further. Rar just slow pushing, building up defenses as they go to push into, Rar's co into Drone's commander, and it's just a matter of time. Really, at this point, the Grizzly, if that gets set up, there is a chance to get rid of Rar's commander. That's 1,500 damage every few seconds. Rar's commander would go down in two or three hits. But the question is, is that going to actually matter? Ooh, and the Hercules go down for Rar. Rar trying to do what they can to harass. Not able to do much, losing the Hercules, but that's fine. It did its job. It did its job three minutes ago. It got the commander in a drone's base, wiped out drone's base. That is all it needs to do. That left the Wasp open to expand. And this is what I was talking about last game, too. You want to expand when you're attacking. And that's exactly what Rar did. And that's given them a great position economically. I mean, the Caretaker's up, the Gangs Nimbus is up, and the Wasp, I really would like to see it assist build, or build more energy, either way. But the combination of this is that RAR is able to destroy Rhone's base with a highly aggressive strategy, and then turn that into money. If they only had more energy, they could use that reclaim and actually, you know, use that reclaim. It's going into, store, or going into excess instead, which is a bit of a shame. But Drone doesn't get it. Granted, if Drone does manage to break this completely, then Drone will be able to reclaim everything that RAR's built, so it's a bit of a mixed bag. Either way, though, RAR does have the economy they need, but Drone just honestly hasn't fallen that far behind. They've done a great job expanding in the meantime. They have conjurers all along the map, just, you know, northeast, southwest, building up what they need to so that they don't fall behind economically. Yes, their commander is in a tight spot. Yes, their factory is now stuck underwater in the middle of the map, not really able to be built in a secure location anymore. But ultimately, RAR didn't gain enough to completely break Drone. Drone was able to hold on, they were able to keep the defenses up, they were able to rebuild the, rebuild the factory ultimately, and RAR didn't go for it. They didn't push in with their commander and risk the, the commander to win the game. I, clearly, no, they're okay with the macro play. But I mean, again, the Nimbus is coming in, this is more or less the culmination of what RAR was going for. Break Drone's expansions, or rather break Drone's main base, break Drone's production, slow down everything they have to build up to defend and then go in with forces that are taken from the expansion that you take while you're attacking, and that's exactly what's happened, and that's exactly what these Nemesis will be able to do, wiping out this entire expansion. However, ooh, that Razor! That Razor! Saving the day! Drone nicely... I mean, that's what you do when you know your opponent's going air, but still, that's what you do. That was a good... That was a correct play. Rar, however, 
And they can get rid of these metal extractors. They kind of should have done it a little while ago. And that'll drop down drone to about 20 metal per second, not including reclaim. And that's not a great position to be in. And when you have the Grizzly coming up, I mean, it's... The drone has a lot in storage. They can push the Grizzly pretty well, so they should be able to get to 30 metal per second. Or, like, 30 seconds down. It's like 40 metal per second being pushed into the factory right now. But it's a question of whether or not drone is going to be able to get that Grizzly up into position in a reasonable amount of time before, basically, Rar is able to build up a large army of what will likely be Glaives, I'm guessing. And with the Grizzly coming in, there's not really a better option. Although, admittedly, when you're fighting Amphib, Glaives are a bad idea because ducks kill them and archers kill them, and there's no reason Drone wouldn't build those afterwards. They are affordable at 20 metal per second. The Grizzly is a stretch, mostly that was because of storage. But when it comes to everything else, yeah, it's no problem. Archers are already coming in. And indeed, though, Rar going for the Masked Glaives. Despite the fact that I'm pretty sure this was done after the Glaive nerf. I mean, it's a small Glaive nerf. Yes, it was. 65 metal per second. Or 65 metal to build. So yeah, that's... That is huge. Although Rar with 37 metal per second is able to build each one in about two seconds. So they can get a reasonably large army. The only reason they're not is because the Nemesis are also taking a bunch of build power. But hey, still, it's, that's still good. The Nemesis coming in here will be able to help tear apart the Grizzly. It's just a matter of whether or not that Grizzly is going to go down. The Stinger coming in here trying to stop it. Drone's commander is well in position, and really, Rar, they're having a hard time holding on to Drone's base now. Archers will be coming in from all sides. The com Drone's commander is building up, or is upgrading. The Grizzly is coming in as well, and while the Stinger is doing a fine job getting rid of it, it's done. It's dead. It did a fine job softening it up, but there's so much repair coming in from Drone that it's a matter of the Nemesis. That's really what matters. And the Nemesis are coming in here. The Grizzly can kill them, but the Archers are the bigger threat. However, that Grizzly... Sorry, the Anglers, rather. The bigger threat the Grizzly is going to go down. The Nemesis, four Nemesis, more than enough damage to deal with that. Rar pushing in with the Nemesis. This should be game. This should be all they need. And with that... Drone losing their factory. It looks like they're losing the factory. It's very clear that they are. Rar, their commander cannot stay in. The archers being the one line of defense, but the factory going down for Drone. The commander for Drone should be going down in just a few seconds. And with that, Drone will have nothing to hold on to. Getting a lot of reclaim just to try to hold on to everything they can. They have a lot of the map, actually. Even if they lose a the commander, they still have a lot of constructors around the map. They still have a lot of ways of getting back in this game, and they have an economic advantage. Really, it's just Rar's commander that is the problem. And Drone maintains their commander. They are still alive. They're still in this. Drone is not out of this game yet. There is a second wave of force coming in here, mostly Grizzly, sorry, mostly Glaives coming in here, and with a few Nimbuses, Drone's commander still has a very tough time, but what do they have here? Light Particle Beam, great against Glaives. Disruptor Bomb, also great against Glaives, so there are options to get rid of these Glaives. It's just the question of whether or not they're actually able to do so. The reload is back up, but the Glaives are gone. The Disruptor Bomb is a little late for that. I mean, more Glaives, of course, will be coming in, but the defenses are just too strong. However, Drone's Commander getting torn apart by suicidal Nimbuses. They just want to kill Drone's Commander. That's all they care about. Get rid of the Commander. Maybe that'll work, but Rar does not want to sacrifice their own Commander to break the defenses. So we are going to see a little bit of a longer game as Rar decides, you know what, Drone? Man, Drone's expanded a lot. Drone's got way too much going for them in terms of assets. I got to probably take care of some of this. Like, just, just wipe out well, maybe a few here and there, you know? Just, just make sure Drone can't get back into this game. That's the key thing. And that's exactly what's happening. Rar hitting off the sides, stopping the cloaky, or at least possibly scouting the cloaky factory. Not going to likely to stop it, but still, at least spotting it out. Because Drone right now, they are still in a great position to stay in this game. If Rar just focuses on Drone's commander, Rar is going to lose. And Rar knows this. So I really appreciate that Rar has decided to go for a bit more of a side harass strategy just to secure the rest of the map to make sure that Drone cannot come back from their expansions. Because Drone has expanded really well. For being as under fire as they have been this entire game, their expansion efforts and their ability to control the map has been what's been keeping them in this game this entire time. That is... That cannot be overstated. I mentioned, like I said, last game, how expansion is so important. This game is an apt demonstration of that. And Drone... Even now, I still think, even with the harassment coming along the sides, that Drone is doing a fine job holding on. Like, they're playing a very decentralized game. So, yes, if Rar is able to get a concerted force that is essentially all the money they have pushed into any one spot that the defenses aren't set up for, then, yeah, that's going to work fine. But the thing is, right now, the air units essentially have no chance. Cloakies are going to be coming in, but mostly it's just Glaives with a few Ronin. That's good. That's not a bad unit composition, but still, Glaives with a few Ronin, unless a, about, if, like, a couple dozen of them are built, they're not going to be able to break through this. The defenses that have been set up are quite strong. I mean, three Lotuses, yeah, it doesn't seem like much, but Glaives, like this set of Glaives coming in here, they are going to go down to the Lotuses. They might be able to take out one or two of them, but there's just so much defense here, and Rar knows it. They're not even, they're not even risking it. I mean, with the 12 or so Glaives plus the Nemesis, that is actually a good shot. That They could get in with this. It's, it was a knife-edge thing before. Now there's enough. 
Two of the Lotuses go down. About half the Glaives are going to go down easily in this fight. But hey, that's two of the Lotuses down. Oh, but a Glaive going down. Getting rid of one of the Caretakers because, of course, the Explosion Radius. 500 damage. The, care the Glaives are too close. And there's Rar being smart about that one. But unfortunately for them, the Lotus is still in place. So, yeah, that defense held. But it was close. And at the cost of a couple Caretakers along with a couple Lotuses. So one more wave of forces coming in here from RAR should be able to finish off the Western Expansion, and that is basically what's keeping Drone in the game. If they lose that, they still have opportunities, they have a gunship plant in the back, they still have the commander that's building up and reclaiming. So it's not quite over, but losing the Western side means RAR could expand over here, get their metal, up, metal economy up another 10 metal per second, no problem, and have essentially a three-fold advantage on Drone, economically speaking. Even now it's roughly a two-fold advantage, and that is already showing a great deal of promise. The only thing is, Drone's doing a great job just making that not matter. 2,000 metal advantage when it comes to attrition. That is a big deal. At the same time, though, again, we do have those Nimbuses coming in, trying to find any mileage they can, and finding some, I mean, able to get rid of one or two Lotuses here and there, but those Razors are being a problem. There's, there's not the ground support force able to stop those Razors from actually doing anything. Ah, there they are. The Ronin coming in here, but still the Razor has enough HP. Even when you consider the fact that it's open and taking full damage, it still has enough HP. It's not going to be a problem. While at the same time, Drone, their commander coming in, getting rid of a bunch of RAR's expansions over to the northeast. So RAR right now kind of being limited. Drone pushing back with the with the Harpies. I mean, it's like it's like they just entirely seeded their main base. You know, they decided, you know what? This is not my main base. This plateau? No. This, this island is my main base. And then I've got a secondary main base over on the southwest side of the map. That is the thing here. Rar is... Rar, I'm sure that thing, and they're so far ahead, and likely getting frustrated by the fact that Drone is able to keep coming back from everywhere. Like, really, Drone has just turned into some kind of bacterial force. Like, you try to beat it back, but you miss one, and it just regrows off of whatever it can find. And it's like, Rar's trying to play the immune system here. Trying to, get, like, stop down every little thing that's being popped up, but no, every single time they do that, like, more of it spreads, more of it multiplies, and there's just nothing they can easily do about it. They're slowly managing to hold back Drone, but Drone is just still wearing them down. RAR at this point is, they're losing a bunch of their metal. Drone is rebuilding it. RAR did not succeed in taking out the southwest side of the map at all. Drone, actually, I think, might be able to break this back. If some tridents are built, that is the one chance. There's no anti-air coming in from Drone that's mobile. So, tridents would be able to get rid of the Harpies without much issue. The Nemesis, of course, are going to go down pretty quick. But then again, they are managing to get, deal with the Harpies reasonably well. So it's not like it's the worst thing in the world to have the Nemesis here, it's just that it's not the most time efficient, and really time is what's not working for RAR right now. Drone very nearly getting an economic advantage. No, not nearly. Drone having an economic advantage. RAR, they only have Reclaim working for them, and that is over. I mean, RAR, again, they're still the Northwest, that's still fine. They're just kind of trapped there. So after a really clever opening in this game, it's clear that RAR really I think, ought to have gone in here and get, tried to get rid of the island as best they could. It was really clever, it was really cool. Drone has done an amazing job recovering from it and coming back out of that and just building two main bases. They lost one, they built two. It's perfect. Why did I say bacteria? I just said Hydra. It cut off the one head, two of them grow back. Drone is Hydra. I, wait, no, that's bad. That, you don't want to be Hydra. Or maybe he does, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know what Drone wants if, if they're like to be a Hydra, like either a mythical beast or a comic book super villainy organization. I don't really know which one they'd rather be, if they'd rather be either. I have to ask them. I don't know if they're watching. But yeah, that is going to be... That is going to be it. So at this point, it is going to be Drone. Drone taking a massive advantage, and RAR honestly split. Like, Drone has cut RAR in half. Like, here, like, this line here, you have half of RAR's forces and the other half of RAR's forces, and most of RAR's metal is, of course, in their commander, as it always is, but the commander is honestly being very careful. However, that's that's 2,500 metal in their commander. That's a lot of metal. Well, well, 1,475 metal. But still, that's a decent amount of metal. Like, that is about as much metal as this army. Like, this entire army is worth as much as that one commander, and that one commander is a much better riot unit, too. Much better getting rid of a lot of the stuff that's built up, but of course the commander is stuck in the northwest side of the map trying to defend as best they can and build up a heavy tank factory. Interesting choice. RAR going for the tank factory as presumably a way of just building up, like, probably ogres or maybe minotaurs and just break into this expansion or break into this base maybe break into the southwest base as well and then just have that fighting force have that really strong late game fighting force which admittedly rar has the money to build 
However, it's a bit risky. They have the money to build it, yes, but they are also having to deal with the fact that their money is a little bit tight. I mean, if they don't keep building more cloaky butt units, they're gonna lose this ground. Like, Drone, they're managing to hold on, but Rar is managing to push in. However, it's just a matter of whether or not Drone is able to hold on long enough, and if they do, well, I mean, they're just gonna be able to outpace Rar by sheer number of units, by sheer metal, by sheer value. Now, especially with more of the Warriors coming in, that should be able to get rid of, well, not get rid of the Ronin, and Glaives need to be get rid of the Ronin, but you have the Nimbuses that'll stop the Glaives, you have the Warriors that'll stop the Glaives as well, so... The options are a little bit limited. I could see slings as well, that would also help. But at this point, it's more a matter of whether or not these Ronin are able to push in, and indeed they are! Get rid of a Gremlin too, for good measure. But honestly, I actually don't see any real force, any real breaking force here. Oh, Pillager! Oh, that is a clever option! Yeah, nice and then Rar with that Pillager in their, in Drone's old main base. That can help get rid of this. That is gonna help break apart this Northwest base and put Rar back on the map, but Drone, they know this, they're just going in. They almost don't care anymore. Just get in, use the firepower of the Ronins, use the Gremlins just in case the Nemesis try to get too frisky, and then that should allow for Drone to push in and win. But they, they're trying to be careful. They don't want to lose any forces because, again, it's just a matter of, it's a matter of attrition and a matter of money. And Drone, they have the economic advantage, but it's honestly so neck and neck, I can't even really say that. It's coming down more to reclaim than anything else, and the fact that RAR's energy economy is so strong, their overdrive is amazing. But at this point, Drone should be able to tear apart just about everything. The Nimbus is having a hard time thanks to the Gremlin. Oh, sorry, thanks to the Warriors. Not even thanks to the Gremlins. The Gremlins are helping, but the Warriors are dealing the mass vast majority of the damage. And the Glaives, more than enough to get through the Warriors, so really, RAR, they don't have very much time. They're building the Pillagers, they're getting the Tremors, they should be able to tear apart this, fact this entire factory area, but it's not fast enough! Drone! They got everything! They got the Glaives, they got the Rockos, or the Ronins, rather. They have the Gremlins, just in case any more Aryans come up. And, really, Rar is so on the back foot right now. They have a metal advantage, but it's a question of can they build a large enough army to break through what Drone has, because Drone was playing it super careful, and still is. They're doing everything they can to avoid losing units and win that attrition war, because they know they're even on economy, their only way in is to just build that larger and larger army and take advantage of Lancaster Square Law to actually make that large army, or make their relatively even large-ish army, actually win the game for them. And that seems to be working. At the same time in the north, we do have the attacks coming in here from the Tremor. Should be able to saturate out the base, wipe everything mostly out. I mean, if it gets rid of enough of the defenses, they then the commander can move in and just do the damage needed. And it looks like that will be able to happen. Well, at the same time, though, this entire force is being scattered out. Rar, at least, is, is aware this force exists and what it's made of. So Rar, at least, knows, you know, build a bunch of glaives that will do most of the, that'll do most of the work getting rid of the Ronin. But Rar at this point, they have such a weak economy, they've lost, they've just lost another character, or a lot of their metal extractor over to the eastern side of the map. They've basically lost every expansion they have outside of both main bases. And it's just a matter of, like, can they get rid of this? And honestly, yes, they can. At this point, Rar, where's your commander? Rar's commander's back here. Rar's commander can go in here and destroy this. I don't know that it will matter, though, because the Cloakybot factory over in the southwest side of the map, that is Drone's main asset. But hey, if Rar's able to break out here with all these glaives, that could still do the trick. Of course, there will be some warriors coming in here immediately. Yes, there are. Some knights as well, that'll help. But most of the warriors are going to be able to actually do the trick. But, oh, that's the problem is that the, I mean, the warriors coming in here, but there's already a bunch of defenses being set up for the glaives. The, they were spotted too soon. The ronin will be able to run away. The glaives might be able to get rid of some of these conjurers, but there's so many of them. Like, just six alone in this area. It's, I don't see that easily happening. I mean, at the very least, the, the glaives are managing to get rid of the conjurers. That is good. That at least opens things up, allowing for another wave of glaives to wipe out everything. But the question is, can that other wave of glaives be built up in time as Drone has the economic advantage? Like, clearly economic advantage. I know I've been saying this over and over again, but at this point, it is a 15, metal per 15 to 20 metal per second economic advantage. That is solid. So, RAR, I mean, now having lost those glaives and still having a bunch of defenses to deal with, is not in a great position to push in. They have to. They have to break this up, because now they just opened up all this reclaim for their opponents. I mean, that's 5,000... 5,000 metal?! Holy crap, that is... that. It, whoever gets that wins the game. And Drone pretty much has that, and they've got all the conjures in the world coming in here. I mean, they can get like 120 metal per second easily for a minute and a half. Or, that's... Like, that's nuts! I mean, granted, they've lost their north base, they haven't really cared about that too much, it's just Tremor's taking it out. I mean, that, that works, it's doing the trick, it's just that... Ultimately, does it even matter? Like, when you, when you think about it? Like, how much is that gonna matter when this Cloaky Factory, with all of its conjures, 
getting the caretakers up to do all the reclaim on this 5,000 metal reclaim field, is that going to make a difference? And the answer is probably no. But you know what? It's worth a shot. So when you deal with that, and you deal with everything else, it looks like it'll be fine. Uh -oh. Actually, maybe I should turn this down. Anyway, with, with that done, drone, drone should be able to have this game. Just pushing in, there it is. Drone, they've got, well, they got the words, got the glaives. The factory is going to go down. One of the factories, the Klogobot factory is basically down for RAR. There's not much else being built up. RAR does have the heavy tank factory over the north side of the map, but they have so little economy that it's just not really available to build up. I mean, again, the north side's done, but the north side's been done. That's not something that drones cared about. RAR, last ditch effort, Cyclops. Push in, try to bump at everything that's here with that Cyclops. I don't see that working. I, I do appreciate the use of the pillagers to try to break through these defenses, but to me, it's too little too late. RAR, however, is does not think so. RAR is pushing in. They figure there is a chance. Their commander coming in here, possibly upgrading their commander too. Get another laser, just because you can. Strikecom has two weapons, or can have two weapons. But RAR at this point is just getting surrounded. I mean, that's beam laser. That's not machine gun. They don't have an easy way of getting rid of the glaives. With the pillagers down there, all, all RAR can really do is get into the water and hope for the best. But at this point, the north expansion is the next target for drone. They might as well go for that. They've wiped out RAR's main base. Now to take back their old main base. That is the next step. The Kodashi Tower being built up here as RAR... I mean, taking advantage of the base trade. That's all they can really do. And the Kodachis are a great option. That actually is getting rid of the Glaives very efficiently. The question, however, is whether or not that's actually going to matter because of the sheer economic difference between the two players. Drone has three times the economy of RAR. That's the key thing for me. And RAR going in with, ooh, with the Welders. The Welders have been heavily nerfed. They, their damage per second was reduced by a factor of two. Their, well, it's like, well, it's cut in half. And their HP, well, still the same. They're also more expensive. So really, that was, I don't know. Kodachis are the best option here. Kodachis are the option I would say to go for. Or send the Tremor down. Like, send the Tremor down and try to use that to break through this. But right now, RAR has such a weak economy that all they really have is whatever assets they've built, which basically is the Cyclops and the Commander. That's essentially it. That is their army value right there. The Kodachis are helping out, but ultimately the Glaives are wearing them down. Kodachis do not auto-repair, so unless the Commander comes in here and starts repairing them, there is not much they have... Oh, sorry, they do auto-repair. What am I saying? Ah, wrong. But still, their auto-repair is limited by the fact that they are being hit. So it doesn't even matter. They're not going to auto-repair in this circumstance. Just because they are getting hit too often. And of course... When Drona has this massive economic advantage, and they're building so many lightweight units, there's only so much that can be done, especially as the air coming in, and air switch as well? Oh yeah, eastern side of the map, because of course that's how Drone's playing, highly decentralized. You know, if you lose one side of the map, just build up on another, and that's what's given Drone this game. They lost their main base, they adapted by building up the island, they lost... They, they also adapted building up in the southwest, they lost the island, now they adapted building in the east, and they'll probably build in Rar's base. Like, every time Rar has destroyed one of Drone's bases, again, two have popped up. Drone is a friggin' Hydra. That's all they are at this point. And they're doing it beautifully. Of course, interestingly enough, I think if we... I mean, the Kodachis are doing a fine job stopping it. So Fire is doing a pretty good job actually making this not an option. But I think it's... Even then, the, the metaphor does kind of get stretched a little bit too far at that point. Still, though, that is going to be Drone hitting Rar's last hand. Rar, they... Might have like, such a such an outside chance they even have a chance. They've lost their commander. That was their biggest asset. They have the Kodachis being built up. They have the anti-air just in case so the Ravens cannot do any more damage. And the Tremor is stopping Drone's forces from amassing. As it is destroying them. But at this point, Drone just needs a large enough force. I have to get a Strider or just go for all the units in the world. I mean, Drone has the entire map at this point. This is the sort of situation you often see when it comes to massive skill difference at the beginning of the game. I mean, this is half an hour into the game. This is a hugely long game that's going on here between RAR and Drone. And RAR, I mean, they were holding on quite well. I'll give them credit for that. But at the same time, Drone, I was just, again, I'm amazed by how well they adapted to losing their main base and then moving from there. I think they still have their commander, actually. Just double check. I think it's over on the southeast, on the northeast side of the map. And I can't see it. Okay, maybe, maybe not. I'm sure they do. No, they... I, was, I'm, I swear they have the commander. Yes, they do. I was actually selecting it at the time. I had it selected. What am I thinking? Yes, they have their commander. It's very much alive. Rar, however, lost the commander. Rar, the commander player, losing their commander, and Drone playing it super safe. Just, uh, just running their commander around the map to elude their opponents, allowing them to build everywhere, and ultimately get, like, 70 metal per second, plus whatever reclaim they can find. And really, at this point, that Tremor's down. All the defenses are down. The Kodachi's down as well. And that is Drone's cue to attack. Thunderbird coming in here to break everything up, and this is going to be it. 
Drone rushing in here. The Glaive's getting in. The Warrior's getting in. There's nothing left to defend. Maybe a few seconds left. There's... Oof. Eight seconds. The Kodachis might be able to survive, but it's so close. And the Factory's getting hit. Factory is pinned. There is nothing going to be able to build out of that Factory now. And with the... Oh, the Glaive's going to the back lines. They are getting hit by the Lotuses. That is still causing a few problems. But even then, even with the Kodachi, even with the Lotuses, Raw realizes that is going to be game. Throws in the towel. That is your GG. Half an hour of Drone clawing their way back in after RAR goes for that super clever commander drop. Clever mostly because of the fact that being a commander drop, not a commander nav, Drone went for the completely wrong option for defending us. That was a great mind games from, from RAR. It was, that was like, they knew exactly what their opponent was going to do and dealt with it fully. And at the same time, like, neck and neck that entire game, it was just a matter of Drone expanded and built so flexibly while RAR... I mean, they had their main base, they were building up there, but they didn't have anything really building up from the other side, and they didn't have anything caught in the middle either. They had the north side, but they didn't set up a line from their base to the, well, between the two main bases that would allow them to essentially take the northeast side of the map and then push down from there. Had they done that, I think there would have been a chance. But, of course, Drone made that super difficult by having this giant defensive nest right in the North Island. And, I mean, RAR didn't have a tank factory at first for a while, so they couldn't really break that up, and by the time they did, it didn't matter. By the time that happened, Drone already built up the Cloaky Factory that had been essentially winning the game. And once you got that Cloaky Factory, well, it's just a matter of getting the numbers. And once you got the numbers, it's just a matter of storming the base. And once the base was stormed, RAR didn't have any money left. Hey, well, that was an amazing game. And I think, looks like we have time for one more, I'd say. It's like we have another request coming in here. Going to be a match of Stuart98, a slightly shorter game. Stuart versus Filch. Ooh, I think Filch was in the... Was he in the tournament Yes, Or were they in the tournament yesterday? I can't remember. I think they were. But I don't remember. Good player, though. Or at least a decent player. Looks like they're about the same level as Stuart. Maybe, maybe a little weaker. But anyway, Titan Duel. Titan Duel. So Stuart versus Filch and Titan Duel will be the next match that we have. And that is... That'll be interesting. I mean, it probably won't be the same like, absolutely insane play that we saw here. That was this match. This match was amazing. So, yeah, I can't really say that like, it's going to be... Uh, I don't, it, should be, it should be good. It should be good. I, I, think, it'll be, I think it'll be as good. I, I, I mean, this is, this is going to be a good stream, I think. Now, the replay at first was a little bit shaky, but... And then the next couple ones... And actually, it was shaky by the person who requested it. I realized after I did it, I looked back at the request messages and realized that they said oh that i don't know we actually both play kind of badly upon rewatch maybe don't bother doing that yeah i, I missed that that was that was a bit of a mistake on my part but anyway we are going to have stuart 98 versus filch on titan duel that'll be up in a couple minutes so stay tuned <laughs>